Good morning or afternoon. It's oh cute. It's one eleven as we just started. This is going to be Pisces reading. I'm going to do a past, present, and future for Pisces with some advice at the end regarding the future, uh, which will be near future going into like 2020. All right. It was true precise messages of the energy of divine feminine and divine masculines in the Pisces of the Thank you, the masculine, please. Thank you. No, how about that? So in the general reading, the feminines have this upright, but the divine masculines have it in reverse. Of Pisces, of course, but it is a Pisces card, so it's like you're showing up in your own reading. I had to move the mic to my back a little bit so the cards don't make so much noise for you. Right. So, divine feminists that are Pisces are in, in their emotions, maybe a little temperamental right now, uh, diving deep. It's a number eight card, a little wild, uh, perhaps things are, they're allowing things to best you're ready to uh, come to the forefront. We are nearing the new moon. Feeling a little competitive. Um, staying to the light, but definitely um, something is festering. Some of the feminine is ready to sting for the Pisces group, all right? Try to always speak your truth, be in truth, stay with love and light so that you're not snapping or stinging anyone, Pisces. And the Divine Masculines here of Pisces group is the number five card for change. And it is in reverse, so normally upright, you sw would be swimming against the stream, um, going against the currents, not focusing or adapting to change um, and you're lost in the current but since it's in reverse right you're you're finding your way out of that lost and current feeling and you're finally understanding you've seen the light with that little blink of the target and you're now going with the flow um, and able to be more adaptable um, and uh, travel could still be in your um, near future, although not recommended at this time. And change is inevitable, but it's very rapid right now. Because when you go with the current, right, it goes smoother, but it goes fast. So know that you're going through a lot of changes, masculines, um, and that it is rapid change. You are transforming, having your soul death and reverse many in a row probably um, because spirit's catching you up to be in alignment with the divine feminines as we go into 2020. Anything of low vibration will be left behind. The people that are resisting the change, resisting the flow, will not... Um, that's obviously still go into 2020, but probably not in alignment. Perhaps in a sense, that in, in that sense, they'll get left behind. The spirit will, um, is, or things will be, in a sense, divided with the higher vibrational and the lower vibrational. So states of the light and allow it to flow. And by masking out of this step. Ooh, nice. The stars are I like it. You are the center of connection. Yes, transformed your soul rebirth, coming to the light, stepping in your power as a hairpent. Um, seeing your gifts that are there before you that spirit has gifted to you and able to use them your 
heart chakra is opening up, your crown chakra is opening up, you're seeing with your third eye, and you're probably feeling a little bit like this <laughs> image here, uh, like you just seen the light, like somebody, you're in the dark and someone just flipped on the light switch, a little bit blinding, you're not sure, again, probably why you feel a little lost in the current or swished down the current, but you have transformed, you're going through re soul reverse, number six card uh, is uh, the just coming out of that change so the change has occurred and you're just now uh, opening your eyes to it find the feminines again you have uh, the Bodak uh, 14 is a five card so again about the change see you're both uh, mirroring one another with the energy and the the Bodak is a little bit of a sneaky guy he can uh, cause a little havoc in your life to make change happen. So this is like a fairy that comes in or those moments in your life when uh, you thought something was a secret or something had hidden and somehow somebody finds that out. Well, that's from the Bodak God, fairy here. He made that known so truth could come to light. Or it's situations where um, if something wasn't being revealed, it's revealed now because it needed to be revealed by spirit spiritual movement of making sure things are changing in the right manner and in the right time number three card it's also 21 which is always a lucky number in a sense this is the uh the fairy who was kissed by the pixies and it's always a lucky if you're kissed by a pixie so they say but uh, the divine feminines have already stepped into their change and they're, they're already more awake. They're ahead of the masculines in that sense. But listening to their higher self and they're seeing the, thing, the gifts all around them, the change that they're manifesting and they're delighting in it and willing to be courageous and take that step forward um, with gleefulness, childlike innocence, happiness, of um, ready to... Uh, leave behind things that don't serve them, speak their truth, uh, as fiery, as, he, as, fiery as, as it may be, if someone causes havoc, but they're moving forward with or without the, the masculines, with or without people of low vibrations, they're not letting anything stop them moving forward. Start give us two precise new messages, and then these are upside down. It's true precise message, past, present, and future for Pisces, please, of the collective. Past cards for Pisces. In the past. In the past. In the near future, sir, in the near future, for Pisces. Near future for Pisces, please. The end of December, early January.
past someone set their boundaries divine feminine or divine masculine four of swords genders irrelevant in these uh, use the energy as you uh, see fit for your situation but boundaries were set and someone else went in uh, so usually divine feminine or the chaser sets their boundaries and the masculine goes within and heals themselves because they have to contemplate and they're like okay we know that they set these boundaries now I need to go in and contemplate this heal myself to step up the game right step up to the boundaries uh, surrounded by their spirit guides but still staying connected to that uh, divine connection there was a situation those boundaries were concerning three-party situations the divine feminine queen of pentacles set those boundaries she's working on her pentacles uh listening to her intuition and her guidance regarding her heart chakra she's sitting solid in her foundation and being very loyal to herself and to the connection uh, going and she's going within or someone is going within hermit uh regarding this protecting the flame knowing that they hold the key to the other party's heart uh, um, making sure the way seeing things from other perspectives even so that they are not seeing it from a twisted perspective looking at things from new root up they've uprooted their old belief system and what's seeing it from their new belief system um, and moving forward this is the recent past but in the present someone is still eight of swords feels um like they that's put them in these boundaries has put this masculine perhaps in a self-imposed prison this uh nine of eight of swords um contained they are being stubborn about this passionate connection they her hands aren't even tied they just have to uncross them and remove the blindfold so that they can see that they can walk out of this self uh, imposed prison right but they they feel like these boundaries were that were set it surprised them perhaps they felt they couldn't meet those but if it's three-party situation and one perhaps is a karmic um, then perhaps the impose means that they need to leave behind that karmic and they're being stubborn about it they don't want to leave toxicity yet presently they know that you are building your pentacles the opposite uh, divine counterpart is building their pentacles um, perhaps they feel like you put up boundaries uh, well you set your boundaries perhaps they feel you have put up a wall um, of sorts but that you are still speaking to them they still hear you um, telepathically even if they can't see you if you're not in communication they are listening to you telepathically it's been an emotional roller coaster um, presently the divine feminine the queen of cups is um, filling her own cup so she's not accepting anything but meeting those boundaries um, it, regardless to how much emotion she's going within she's healing herself because she's in her power she's listening to her intuition her spirit guide but so keeping connected to the connection but she wants calm waters not these three party situations um, that temperance is coming in presently number five for change temperance is going to change things up for the health of your highest good balancing things so that they can bloom they can prosper from there in the near future you do have heartache regarding this it lines right up with the boundaries uh, perhaps the masculine didn't know that you knew of the three-party situation or perhaps that means he's got to tell the karmic of the three-party situation but it's resulting in near future of heartbreak someone's going to have to heal from this heartbreak whether they it's because they felt the divine feminine pulling their energy back for their high, her highest good to heal herself or because they have to then leave the karmic situation nonetheless 
spirit is in the near future putting a death to those three party situations a death to the heartache and healing those wounds so that we can rapidly catapult into the future um, things are rapidly changing faster than before um, with the death of the soul and the rebirth you are awakening more empowered with your gifts able to move forward faster than normally healing faster than you normally would heal from these situations because it's divinely guided this is uh, uh, 13 number four but it's the death in, of the soul the rebirth but it's in this situation too it's a death to wearing masks being someone they were not <clears throat> so that they can two of wands focus and again on the connection the divinely guided connection but they need to disconnect or untie themselves from this um, karmic or this three-party situation the things that are holding them back that are not giving them growth they are no longer serving them spirit is six of pentacles spirit themselves is balancing this out because it wasn't balanced here from the between the masculines and the feminine in this situation so the spirit is nurturing and healing the divine feminine and equally bringing up uh, catapulting the divine masculine into um, alignment with the divine feminine faster as we see with the connectivity the solace he's had this awakening he's now going with the current not against the current so that he can catch up spiritually um, with this connection to be in alignment going into 2020 so that there's no longer a barrier between the two of you there will be nothing to hold you apart with this partnership remember that this connection is not necessarily a romantic one this is a ten of pentacles and ending to building things separately and combining them together for clarify the past recent past for pisces please clarify recent past for pisces the four forces Okay. Not taking all those. <laughs> all right, and the three of cups. Clarify three of cups for Pisces. Clarify three of cups for three cups for three party situation. Pisces in the past. Not clear energy in the rivers. Put an into it. There's that. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in the past. And clarify the Trump card. Anything else for Trump card in the past? Clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords in the past. Clarify the Eight of Swords in the present. swords from the divine feminine towards the set and setting her boundaries spirit says to the emperor so the emperor um, was um, being a knight of wands that player energy in and out of her life in and out of um, and being seduced by sexual or saint devil energy as well with the big snake there wrapped around his neck and he has three different masks here so wearing different masks in this connection and putting an end to the ten of swords is an ending putting an end to the ten of swords and stabbing in the back the trauma the injuries that he was in uh, causing in this connection between them 
that three-party situation again with the uh, being put to rest with the Knight of Wands being in reverse, meaning an ending no longer an issue. Um, it's recently come to light to the Divine Feminine and having to come to an end. She pulled her energy back. She's taking herself out of the situation, therefore it's ending. Whether he's still with the karmic or not, the Divine Feminine pulled back. Therefore it's no longer irrelevant until he gets rid of the karmic or toxic energy. Queen of Pentacles here um, is because she's sitting in, uh, working on her pentacles now. She's walked away from those three-party situations. The moon energy, the shadow side of the masculine, which we knew he had, but she moved forward with the Knight of Swords, spoke her truth, and is moving forward for her highest good. Eight of Wands, Spirit is catapulting him. See how the Spirit is throwing him forward um, into the um, into the position that he needs to be, into transformation, into the uh, spiritual death and awakening. Rebirth, sorry. Okay, and with the Hermit card, we have the Hermit or the Initiation being tested. Uh, this issue was uh, found, brought to light so that they now the spirit the divine feminine was tested she had went through her initiation and passed she set her boundaries she's now moving forward through this initiation into the next phase ended that cycle and moved to her next cycle for her highest good masculine in the near her present put himself in the eight of swords position right he self-contained um, self-contained prison there um, regarding the uh, four of cups situation um, ha being haunted um, at night and he's asking spirit for guidance but he felt stuck he felt like he couldn't move forward with the six of swords but now he has been spirit is moving him catapulting him as I keep hearing um, forward um, with this transformation that justice came in with these vultures to clean, take, remove the masks from the masculine and to clean up the uh, meat from the bones that no longer serve them. The, the evil, the toxicity are being removed from his life one at a time. The nine of pentacles is here in the present regarding the hierophant. She, uh, the divine feminine has already gone through her transformation and passed into the next section. Now the divine masculine is going through that um, transformation, seven of drums, and able to celebrate his soul rebirth as well. Um, and step into his power of the hierophant and tame his dragons that's within him. And he knows that she is the star that guides him on their, his path on his sole purpose, his journey, he's seen the light, spirit has shown him through many dreams and nightmares, the error of his ways and the way he needs to move forward to make things right because he knows that she's not going to accept his cup of love right now until he can match her energy step into alignment. The masculine has looked in the mirror and didn't like what he saw. He didn't see the person he thought he was because he was wearing many masks five of swords he was being many different people at work he was this way at home he was another way with friends he was a different person and spirit has removed those ways seven of swords the divine masculine is leaving behind that way leaving behind the things that no longer serve him because temperance came in and balanced it out she gave him the nightmares um, through his dreams, the mask showed him the masks he was wearing and the person he was being and the pain he was causing. Now, five of coins has changed, but it's about the uh, change that had to happen because his uh, so spirit brought the crashing down uh, the tower moments that came in and probably made the mask them feel like they were hitting rock bottom. Um, but their life was a mess. It was in turmoil before this. But it awoke them so that while they feel like they had to wrestle this monster, people were watching, cheering them on so they can move forward in this journey. In the near future, you have the Three of Swords. 
Clarify the three of swords for the future. Clarify the three of swords for the future. Clarify the three of swords for the future. Thank you. Clarify the death card spirit in the future. Clarify the death Clarify the two of wands. Clarify the two of wands in the future. Two of wands in the future. Situation that in the near future the <clears throat> six of pentacles will, is here to balance things out because of that three party situation the three the heartbreak regarding around it the wheel of fortune wants to turn in your favor bringing you both back together for the mission for the sole purpose so there was a death of that three party situation and of the the player like energies. Because judgment came in with death to make the, this to right the wrongs regarding the high priestess to protect um, the high priestess in her journey for her highest good, um, so that she can carry out her mission, her sole purpose, and bringing the hierophant uh, to work. Spirit is said he they are working with the hierophant, the emperor, um, catapulting them again. Just keeps coming in, really pushing him forward. Like the uh, like this one right underneath it, or above it rather, uh, throwing him into his throne. Whether he wants to get step it up or not, spirit said they're going to get in mission. They're going to get in sole purpose if we have to throw them into that position. So therefore, another death comes of the soul, uh, death and a rebirth of the soul, um, and it's a the divine feminine had to pull back her energy so that she's not an innocent victim in any tower moments or occurrence during this death of the soul uh, that takes place regarding this divine connection. Six of Pentacles. Spirit is balancing these things out behind the scenes um, so that whoops, so that you can have the Ten of Cups together in this divine connection. You will be abundant in all things. With the Ace of Swords in your new beginning, moving forward into 2020, uh, removing the things that separate you. The it's an end of the Ten of Pentacles, an ending of the blocks that kept you apart. That decision that had to be made regarding the Divine Feminine from the King of Pentacles, well, the Queen of Cups. Set her boundaries, and I hope these fulfilled. Set her boundaries with the seven of wands, and went within, healing herself, loving herself, and went in her own mission uh, to start her her sole purpose and continue on her way. There, um, the masculine is uh, thought that she would just sit there and be surrounded by things that didn't grow, that she couldn't make things grow without him. Little did he realize that she's divinely protected, she is the High Priestess, and she manifests anything she wants. Knight of Swords, the Masculine, coming forward in truth. <coughs> Sorry. Coming forward now in truth to make things right. Okay, what advice do you have for the Pisces for their future cards here 
regarding the this connection regarding the masculine that is catching up <laughs> and what advice do you have for the divine feminine and divine masculine Pisces what advice regarding the open heart cut the things out that no longer serve you the matriarch of blades here she's cutting her own hair because well it didn't serve her anymore <laughs> evidently um, while at one point things may have seemed like it was um, what you were supposed to do but it no longer serves you moving forward in your in your goal this heartache is not needed so heal it and cut, cut out and leave that behind moving forward Anything else regarding the three of swords? Anything else? Another advice for three of swords? Any other advice? No, uh, number eight, near completion. Um, yes, you know, receiving signals from spirit. Spirit is guiding you in your path, so continue to watch for spiritual guidance and seek healing within. Um, and number eight. And regarding the death card, any advice to the high priestess and helping regarding this soul reader? Any other advice you have? Uh, Chief of Vessels is move forward in your soul purpose, in your mission. Be creative in your endeavor. The weaver is number five. You need to change. What you're working on if you're working in the 5d um, start your youtube channel coach others on their journey um, do some inner child healing with others um, but get into mischief or get into mission <laughs> what? and get out of mischief i don't know where that word came in from all right clarify the death card clarify the death card with the answer clarify the death card the line feminine Continue in your mission if you've already started it. Uh, continue healing yourself, but move forward, and the divine masculine will catch up as uh, spirit uh, catapults them, throws them into the, the alignment. This violent death, almost like the hermit card. They need to go be stable, be in silence, meditate, heal themselves, right? Silence. Um, and. Uh, Heal their shadow side, heal their inner child, go fishing, be creative, spend time in Mother Earth to get that in a light enlightenment <clears throat> so that you know that you need to cultivate and where to cultivate your new crops to plant those new seeds moving forward in your journey. Ace of Swords, clarify the what was this one? Six of Pentacles. Clarify Six of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Advice for the future. Advice for the future. Regarding advice for the future. Thank you. Stop. A death for a number four. Put a death or a stop to things that no longer serve you, to being, uh, to not succeeding, to not put a death to your self-doubt, self-sabotage, things that are holding you back. If you fall off the horse, warrior of blades, if you fall off the horse, get back on. Don't just stand there and watch the horse run away. You have everything within you to create this new endeavor, to move forward in your mission. It's important that you all get purpose and soul purpose and mission. Um, the last deck, the last advice is for the Pisces. And the last advice for the future, for the future. Walk away from temptation. Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine. Move away from temptation regarding three-party situations and put an end to toxicity for certain. Leave behind toxicity, whether it's a job, other people, um, you know, 
whatever the toxicity is in your life, you need to walk, leave it behind. Matriarch of vessels and move forward. Honor the vessel that you are in here on earth, your human body that is, the meat suit they call it, or the avatar, whatever you want to call it. Um, but move, protect that avatar from alcohol, drugs, cigarettes, drinking. Be careful of what you're eating. Try to eat healthier moving into 2020. Staying in a higher vibration. Keep yourself happier. Listen to metal music. Whatever it is you want to go in with a higher perspective of yourself. A higher perspective of perspective of yourself. Higher opinion of yourself. For some reason that word doesn't seem to sound right. But that's what was coming in. Dance to the beat of your own drum. Play the music. Um, look for the smoke signals that spirit is sending you. He sends you signals every day, synchronicities all around you to tell you to move into your soul purpose. Number five, change. Changes everywhere around you. Look within and, and recognize the change in you. Because when you went through your transformation, you went through your soul rebirth. And the more you heal those wounds, you know that you are a stronger person, that you have changed. And recognize that change and don't look back. Embrace the new you and move forward. And help others to embrace their new self as well. To help others to get in their mission as well. <clears throat> Many people awakening uh, end of December going into January and of course they're on uh, as um, going forward they will also awaken but if they choose to stay with toxicity they will not align with their divine feminine then it won't come around you won't be a mission and you'll be left behind you realize number six Other advice we have for you is the wheel. The wheel wants to turn forward. Delays are over. Sudden or unexpected good luck. A new car or travel is coming your way. Yes, delays are over because spirit is going to thrust you forward. Catapult you into the position, into your throne. Strength, have strength. The love card. The grace and inner strength needed to overcome challenges. The power of kindness and forgiveness. Time to embark how wonderful you are. The moon card, number 18, all breaks down to number 9 near completion. Powerful intuitive epiphanies are coming to you. Letting go of worry and fear. Understanding the truth of the situation. Yes, and if you're just now in the three, uh, presently learning of the three-party situation, my heart goes out to you. I will keep you in thought and send you a healing energy. Um, know that this too will pass. Just go within and it will make you stronger. Don't get resentful. Don't let it lower your vibration. Alright. So Pisces, this is what I have for you. I hope you have a blessed day.